So hello everyone, happy Saturday. It's a new week of vlogs and I'm already glammed up because Brittany and I are going to Halloween Horror Nights tonight. So Brittany's coming to pick me up in a little over an hour and we're gonna head to Orlando get there before the traffic, kind of hang out. I think we're gonna go check out Hard Rock and Hard Rock's bar, hang out there while it finishes raining because I think it's supposed to rain tonight. And then we'll eventually make our way into Horror Nights since we have Express. So you won't see us doing Stay and Scream this year because Brittany doesn't have an annual pass anymore. So she went for Express with her pass instead of doing an annual pass. It can get really pricey if you don't already have a universal pass. So that's what she opted to do. That's what we're doing tonight. So I am getting ready, packing up, got my makeup done. I'm deciding if I'm gonna do my hair because <laughs> I think it's just gonna rain for like the first few hours we're there and then my hair is just gonna get wavy this is my hair at its wavy state at this point i used to have actually wavy hair and now it's gone straight again but it doesn't go completely straight this is what it does if i straighten it it's just going to do this again once it rains so not sure if i'm going to put in the effort but for now mike and i have some science to do because i purchased some oreos a while back and i've been saving them and we've got some other candies to try so let's go do some science before I leave for Horror Nights. Okay, so here's what we're looking at for science today. We've got Sweet Tart Ropes. These are Twisted Rainbow Punch. We've got Sour Starburst Minis. Hadn't seen these before. And then we've got the main event, the Apple Cider Oreos. I think we'll do these last because I think it's better to do sour and then sweet. Sure. Sure, he says. You don't have to hunch. <laughs> All right, let's see. So what flavors are these supposed to be? These are cherry, blue raspberry, watermelon, and strawberry. These feel like little tiny bubble gums. So here's what they look like. They look like little oh, tiny bubble gums. Cheers. Oh, oh my jaw. <laughs> Sour got you? Uh-huh. doesn't taste sour, it feels sour. My jaw. You were totally fine. All right, mm -hmm. the watermelon's fine, huh? I had the green first. Mm. I did cherry first. Strawberry wasn't as bad, but it might just be adapted already. We did the exact opposites from each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blue raspberry? Hmm. That one's okay. I like that one. I saved watermelon to the end because I figured it's going to be my favorite. Was the cherry the one that got you? Mm-hmm. I think it might have just been the first one. Mm -hmm. My jaw was like, oh. Mm. Watermelon's my favorite. I love watermelon flavored things. Strawberry is normally my go-to starburst. Agreed. Normally, but in this batch, I like the watermelon mm. best. I might like the blue raspberry the best. Mm. So what overall thoughts? Um, they're okay. I think they're a little too small. But I feel sour. I feel like I'm not getting enough out of it, chewing it. Like I'd have to have like three or four of them at once. But you can get 19 pieces for 100 calories essentially. Mm -hmm. 110 calories, 19 pieces, so. I feel like I'd have to eat three or four at a time to really feel like I was actually eating anything. Mm -hmm. They're like two. It's like eating an, like one M&M. &M. <laughs> it has like that same kind of feeling. Yeah, I do think you need like an entire handful. But for the calories, not bad. What would you rate it mm -hmm. out of? Did we do out of five or out of ten? Less? Ten. I think okay. a six. Agreed. I'd give it a six. I, I wouldn't run out and buy them again, but I think they'll be fun. I think I'd rather have just the standard Starburst rather than yeah. the sour. I think if they were just the standard Starburst flavors, I would like them better. Which maybe they have those. I don't know. I just don't like the size. I think the flavor is even fine if they had them in standard Starburst size, but that flavor, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think they'd be good. I kind of like it because it doesn't get as stuck to your teeth as the full size There's ones that. though. So, a six for me. Sweet tart rope. Sweet tart rope. It feels like a Twizzler. Let us find out. It doesn't feel like a Twizzler. Yeah, it does. I feel like a gusher. 
Oh. Yeah, side material okay. feels like a gusher. I'll give you that. Okay. I'll give you that. All right. Cheers. I'm moving the rope style. I'm thinking I like the mm. twisted, the braided Twizzler. You're thinking of like the peel off the cherry mm -hmm. one? Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. And the colors are from real sources. Are they now? So I'm not eating chemicals? Fruit and vegetable juice color. How about that? Turmeric? Well, look at you, sweet tart ropes. They also have tangy strawberry. Mm. So these, you can have two ropes for 100 calories. I actually really like these. Way more than I thought I was going to. I would buy this again. It's probably a little decent, yeah. I would give this an eight. Seven. I'm a real big fan of Twizzlers, like the, not the standard ones, but the pull and peel is what you were talking about. I love the standard. I love the pull and peel. Especially the black licorice one. Oh, mm. no. All right, comment down below. Do you like black licorice? I am team absolutely not. He loves it. Mm -hmm. It's very polarizing. So comment down below. Let me know if you are team black licorice or not. This is really good. I would absolutely mm -hmm. buy these again. Okay. And now for, for what Mike's been waiting for. He saw it this morning. He's like, can we do science? Because he's been waiting to try these. So go for it. We have to peel it. Open it. All right, so this is what we got. We got golden Oreos <laughs> with a, is it double interior? No. No, I think it's just, right actually, now. no, it is double. They're two different shades of brown. Oh, are they? Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, smells apple-y. Smell it's got some little sugar dust on it to be like the cider donuts. So let's see, cheers. Very soft cream. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. He's a fan. Mm-hmm. These taste like a different Oreo that we've had, and I cannot place which one it would be. They taste very fall. It's very cinnamon. Like mm -hmm. I feel like there's been a cinnamon roll one or something that tasted very similar to this. Mm-hmm. Cinnamon is the overwhelming flavor. Oh, I get a lot of apple. Do you? Mm. I feel like our rankings on this are gonna be very different. Mm-hmm. What do you give it? It's like a nine for me. Maybe like a four for you, isn't it? It's like a two for me. A two? <laughs> yeah. A two's borderline gross. I don't like it at all. Wow. I'm not eating a single one of those past that. More for me? Yep. That entire pack is yours. It's way too sweet for me. Mm. Super sweet sugar. It's like if the Voodoo Donuts made a cookie that was an apple cider donut flavor. That's exactly what it would taste like. Yeah. It's... There's like no break from the sweetness. Mm -mm. That is intense sweetness not for me i would not but that's exactly what it reminds me of the cinnamon and the powdered sugar like on the outside of the donut mm. not for me mm. definitely one of my least favorite oreos we've ever tried <laughs> and he's like it's a nine <laughs> like it's probably top five for me oh my gosh yeah no very different on this one so if you like really really sweet things it's really sweet like I had a third cookie and it was a mistake. <laughs> I'm already, my stomach's like, oh, mm -hmm. that's too much sugar. Yeah, you can definitely get by eating one or two though, because you're going to be like, oh my God, sugar overload. Yeah. Mm -mm. All right, I went ahead and straightened my hair and I wanted to show the earrings I would be wearing if it wasn't COVID times where I needed to wear a mask all night. Look at my earrings. They look so cute with this outfit too, but I just tried them on with the mask and with the mask, they just get like, pressed up against the side of my face, so there's no point wearing dangly earrings, but sad. My spooky molder earrings. <sighs> they must wait. I'll have other occasions to wear them, I'm sure, but it would have been perfect for tonight if it wasn't a time where I needed to wear a mask all night, so. Instead, we're going for bats. They're still cute. They're still cute. Guys, guys. Who's here? Is it Auntie Brittany? Is Auntie Brittany here? Where's your toy, Ash? Everybody else got her a toy. <laughs> oh, the excitement. Oh. <laughs> but it's Auntie Brittany. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's Saturday, so you wouldn't think he would be, but you know. <clears throat> I was like, 
<laughs> so, I didn't know. I was like, I saw them and I was like, oh God, those are so cool. But oh God, I don't know if they're going to go on my ear because I haven't put earrings in my ears for probably yeah. since middle school. Wow. Yeah, I didn't even know if her ears were pierced. When she showed up, I was like looking at her ears. I'm like, are they pierced? But they are. Look. I really don't know why they're still open. Huh. There you go, I'm a free crystal. And it goes really well with the shirt that she's wearing today. <laughs> it's very ironic. I didn't. Very fitting. Mm. She didn't even know. <laughs> and then she Stop. put her lantern on her lanyard. I look a little obsessed. You're a little bit of a fear fan girl tonight. <laughs> Listen, but I didn't, I've only had the shirt originally, okay? <laughs> but most people won't notice, right? Yeah. I honestly don't think that most people at Horners even know who he is. Yeah, like who's that guy? In the house. Like, wow, tall man. Jack! <laughs> That's how it goes. All right, off to Horror Nights we go! Woo! Woo! Happy Sunday, everyone. I look like a hot mess because I'm still recovering from Horror Nights last night. But first thing I'm doing today is a raid. So it's heading into Destiny to do a raid with my clan. Check out my new Curse Breaker title. Oh, yeah. I guess. Tonight for dinner, we're having black bean taco salad from Green Chef. So here's the salads. I'm about to add the dressing, but I want to show it before I pour dressing on top. These look really good. Dressing is on. I'm gonna go deliver to Mike because he is on a meeting with one of his hockey leagues. So, dinner is there. So hello everyone, happy Monday. I'm gonna pan the camera over and see if you can guess what package has arrived. Let's see. Oh, oh, Chewy's here. Colby's working hard to make sure nobody comes to get it. He's been laying there for at least an hour. He was watching it intently for a while and then got tired. And so he's just sleeping next to it, protecting it from some unseen force that's going to come take it from him. <laughs> Ash. Does not care. Hi, Ash. Hi. Don't care, woman. Get him. Go get him. <laughs> the wild tail, though. That's a wild tail. Get him. Get him, bear. Get him. Go get him. No, 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 what? Are you eating the binky? You're just pretending to be like Ash. Look, this is what you do. I do it too. It's fine. So here's the grocery haul for the week. Snyder's pretzels were BOGO. So I got some sourdough hard pretzels and some sourdough nibblers. I got some sweet chili pistachios for a snack. We needed some more cream cheese, so I restocked us on regular cream cheese and then some salmon cream cheese for snacks. So good. Some cottage cheese, olives, croutons, creamer, standards. Some cheese for recipe for tonight's dinner. 
some Oreo thins. We've been really liking these. Some peach teas to take to Orlando. Ruffles or BOGO, so I got those from Mike. Wheat thins to go with my smoked salmon cream cheese. And look what's back. Cow chocula, it's my favorite cereal. I have a story about this. I'll tell you guys once I'm done putting away the groceries. So Count Chocula, some fire roasted tomatoes and kidney beans for tonight's recipe, some spring mix, some squash for tomorrow's dinner, red pepper, onion, cucumber, vegetable broth, and some pastas for um, tonight's dinner. And then it was BOGO, so I just went ahead and got a second box of pasta for some other recipe in the future. So that's our haul. I'm making dinner tonight and tomorrow using recipes. And then we have HelloFresh arriving on Wednesday. So I already did all the green chefs for the week. So had to pick up some stuff for dinner tonight and tomorrow, HelloFresh on the way. Bean just came to find me. What are you freaking out about? Bean came to find me because he wants to hunt lizards. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. Pastor wants to hunt lizards. He's dying to hunt lizards right now. All right, here we go, ready? Here we go, and then go. <laughs> the speed run to the tree. I must hunt my lizards. What are those goofy boys doing, huh? You can't take the toy outside the porch. I'll open the door for you, but you can't take the toy out with you. No toys in the yard. You do know the rules. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, oh, I'll just stay here. I don't want to give up my squirrel. So, speaking of out here on the patio, we just ordered a new piece of furniture for out here. Let's see. Are you gonna chill? Nope. He's not gonna chill. Kind of like a chase lounge hammock combo. So it's not as hard to get in and out of as a hammock, but it's not flat like a chase lounge. So I think you found it on Amazon. Actually now that we're going to start going into nicer weather. Not there yet, we still got weeks to go but it's actually not bad out right now. It's pretty breezy. So when we think we got the fans fixed, we think the leak is finally fixed. So that's good, but I don't even need the fans right now. It's pretty breezy. So just sitting out here to make sure Foster doesn't get in any trouble. And I just see his tail. His tail's just doing this as he's chasing a lizard at the hose. Foster Bean. <laughs> just that's how I watch him. I just see the little tail. And he'll go check the tree. So if there's any lizards there. And then he's either gonna go back to where he was or he'll go to the AC unit. Check the tree. Oh, he's going back to the hose. Oh, nope, never mind. Checking the, oh, yep, there he goes. Meow. <laughs> he's going back to the hose. He's got three lizard spots. The AC unit, the tree, the hose. And he goes back and forth between those three spots. So hello. I'm about to go cook dinner, but I thought I'd tell you my Count Chocula story since I teased that earlier. And that is in middle school. I went to the University of Florida during summer for band camp and it was like a week long camp. We got to stay in the dorms. It was a ton of fun. I did it after my sixth grade year. After, no, after my seventh grade year, after my eighth grade year and after my ninth grade year. I wasn't planning to go after my ninth grade year because I felt like it was more of like a middle school thing. But then my eighth grade year, I won an award that was Best Woodwind. And that award came with a scholarship to attend the next year. So I went for three years and I ended up having a lot of fun when I went the summer after my freshman year. My friend Narali went with me and then eventually uh, we were drum majors together. So she was the head drum major when I was junior drum major. So we were bonded. We'd known each other since like small childhood, but we were really bonded after doing band camp together and going as high schoolers was a very different experience than going as middle schoolers. So anyway, my first year of band camp, again, was the summer after my seventh grade year. And part of band camp is obviously, you're only there for a week, but you're there for all of your meals. And so you get a meal card, just like you're a college student and you get to go dine in one of the dining halls. And so you do breakfast, lunch, and dinner all at the same dining hall. And I, especially back then, was very picky about eating foods that were prepared cafeteria style. I rarely ever 
bought school lunch. I almost always packed my lunch and there were very few items that I liked from school lunch. The dining hall at UF was very similar in my mindset where I was just like, oh, I don't know about all of these foods. And so my first year of band camp, my seventh grade year, I pretty much lived off of Count Chocula because there was a cereal bar. The dining hall had a row of like 10 or 12 different types of cereal. That's pretty much what I ate for the entire week. I just went and ate cereal and they had Count Chocula and that's what I ate for like the whole week was Count Chocula. <laughs> a full week of getting to have as much Count Chocula as I want. And back then Count Chocula wasn't only a Halloween cereal, it was available year round and yeah, after I got home, I told my mom that's what I ate for the week. I ate cereal. <laughs> so not my most balanced. We did have like a pizza night, so I had pizza one night at least. I don't remember what I ended up doing the following years, but I know at least one meal a day was cereal. I probably found a wrap or something I liked or a salad or something that I liked the next years and ate something a little better. But as a, what are you in seventh grade? I was 13 going on 14. Cereal it was. So that's my Count Chocula story. Now I'm gonna go make us some dinner, <laughs> some healthy dinner. Okay, so tonight I'm making an Emil's recipe. This is actually a vegan recipe, but I'm making it not vegan because I'm gonna use actual cheese. But it is one pot chili mac and cheese, and we'll see if it's any good. But I think the only thing that makes it not vegan is I'm gonna use regular cheddar cheese. I am also going to go ahead and double the recipe so that we have leftovers, so. Everything is going to be double what you see here. It is complete. It looks really good. There it is, still steaming. I'll let you know what we think once we're done. Well, that gets a thumbs up from us. It was quite good, very easy. If you need like a quick 30 minute meal coming home from work, that's definitely a super easy one. Basically just got everything in the pot and then let it simmer for 12 minutes. Easy and delicious. So that one will get made again. We've got leftovers for dinner tomorrow. And now I'm gonna play a little Destiny to finish the week because it resets on Tuesdays. So time to finish some last minute quests. Dancing with the Stars premiere. Go Cody Rigsby. You got this. Okay, Sporty Spice. Go Sporty Spice. Time for Cody. Who's his partner? Nice, Shelberg. Love it. Did dad tuck you in? Uh-oh. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh, oh, okay. He really tucked himself in. <laughs> this is going poorly. Wow. He finished the job. He's like, here, just tuck me fully in. Meanwhile, this one's getting jealous. I want to be tucked oh. in. Oh no. Get me out. I don't like to be under blankets. I like, to be on top of them. I like to lay on top of them. I don't want to be under them. It, it is a okay. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Comfort. <laughs> he looks real comfortable now. Look at him. <laughs> this is not great. Meanwhile, Jelly Bean over here. Dad, you're supposed to tuck me in. I like being tucked in. I've got two blankets. One wasn't enough. Well. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Dad's going to bed. Nice knowing you. These two are sticking with me so far. Oh, there he goes. Literally the second I actually got out of the car. Yep, he heard. Bye, Bean. Bye. And there goes everybody. Well, Colby's getting a drink of water first. I'll grab you for cheese later. Goodbye, everybody. This is what happens every night. Dad steals all the dogs. <laughs> Good night, boys. Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I'm in the office to actually do a workout, forcing myself to work out today. We're doing no BS active legs. <laughs>
workout done, we did 50 lunges, 40 leg raises, 30 goblet squats, 20 toe touch jumping jacks, 10 thrusters, and then we started over with the lunges and we got through, partially through the goblets a second time and that was it. So time for shower and lunch. I need to start working and someone has stolen my chair. He loves this chair. You're going to have to share with me, Bean. I have to work. Yes? You will share a chair with me? Hmm. I know you don't want to, but you're going to have to. They just had dinner. And they just had dessert. Foster's had a good amount of lizard hunting today, even though it wasn't enough. He would sit out there all day if I would let him. It's about to rain, so I made him come inside, much to his dismay. Mike and I are having leftovers tonight. I think Mike already ate his leftovers. Was that a burp? Did you just burp? <laughs> Maybe I need to stop patting him. <laughs> I'm gonna game some before I eat my leftovers, but he has a hockey game, so he likes to eat early on the hockey game nights. I'm already feeling sore from my workout. I'm planning to redo my nails tonight because I have so many different Halloween patterns. I need to use them all. And I got more in the mail today. I'll show you. So these were ones I had left over from last year that I ordered just too late in the season, so I didn't get to use as many. So I still have some of those left, like this pair. I have some bats and the kind of Beetlejuice looking one that I used last year. I have a second half of that set. Today I'm going to do a solid print with like a spider web on top of it. I'll show you when I do it. And then next week when we go on our long Horror Nights trip, I'm going to do this one with the pumpkins. And then the next trip I do, I've got one that has bats on it. I'm going to do that one. And then I'm gonna fit another one in there somewhere. And the final week I'm planning to do the pumpkins again. I have this one that looked a little more purple online, but it's kind of like a swirly, creepy vibe to it. I'm curious to see what it looks like on, because it definitely looked very different online when I ordered it. And then I got these that can be used at any time, but they're kind of like a blue black. I'll probably end up saving these and using these next year. And then I just got some plain black. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. A truck stopped to let another car by. And Ash was not happy about it. You're not allowed to stop in front of our house. This lasted. This was almost two weeks and they've grown out, but they didn't really chip. And I put a top coat on these and they did a really good job. They really did last me the full two weeks. Much better than the previous set. I still have half of the set left so I can do this again next year if I want. But there you go. Keep replacing these tonight. So this is what I'm planning to do tonight. So this is a clear that just has the spider webs and little spiders on it. And this is the only solid color I had that was light enough to have this go over top of it. I didn't really plan that out very well. So I'm going light blue, I guess. Maybe I won't, maybe I'll do a different one. I don't know. I'll let you guys know once I decide. So hello, happy Wednesday. I'm in the office. I'm gonna do no BS active arms today, getting back into the swing of working out more, at least this week, because next week we go to Horror Nights for an extended trip. So I'm gonna at least be good this week. Next week I'll be walking plenty, but for this week, I'm trying to focus on more workouts. So it's like we're doing 50 side punches, 40 forward raises, 30 mountain climbers, and 20 steering wheel. I thought this said sleeping wheel and I got very confused. Steering wheels. And then we repeat. So let's do it. I got through three and a half rounds. Feeling pretty good about it. Definitely gonna be feeling that. My legs are definitely feeling it from yesterday. Shower, lunch, work. See you later. So hello, it is now Wednesday evening. I am done with work for the day. I am gonna go play some Destiny and I'm gonna make us some dinner. I already have chicken in the fridge marinating. I made my own little Greek marinade and I have it 
in the fridge chilling. Yeah, I didn't do my nails last night, so I'm probably gonna do them tonight. So I will show you that once that's done. So tonight I'm making a Paula Deen squash casserole recipe with some pan seared chicken. I've got the chicken marinating and I just finished the first part of the squash. I'm gonna put it in a bowl and mix it together with some deliciousness, a nice southern squash casserole. So I will leave the recipe down below for you, but first step done. So first step, it's just yellow squash and onion sauteed in butter. And now we're adding half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one cup of shredded cheese, and half a cup of sour cream. Now it's in a baking dish and we're gonna top it with Ritz crackers that have been all crushed up. The recipe called for a full sleeve of Ritz crackers. I just did one of these little half sleeves because that's what we had and it's plenty. So I pulled out the other one, but it, I don't think we need it. This is what it looks like. Looks well coated to me. So now it goes in the oven for 20 minutes. Chicken is done. Got some for us tonight and then some extra for my salads. We're gonna let that sit for a couple minutes since it's bubbling deliciousness. Very excited for it. There we go. Tonight's dinner. The squash casserole. Delicious. Highly recommend it. I mean, it's Paula Deen, so you know it's going to be delicious. <laughs> Healthy, not so much. Delicious, yes. So we've got a good amount of leftovers from that. Chicken was good. I've got leftover chicken for salads. It was a good night. And now, more gaming. Okay, I am done with gaming. And now it's time for Survivor, a new era. Something's gonna change. I know it's a shorter time on the island. I think it's only 26 days instead of 39, but here we go. We'll find out. So hello everyone, happy Thursday. I've been up, I've already had lunch. I attended a seminar for a grant and I wanna show you I did my nails last night. So that's what I ended up doing. I ended up using the light blue that I had. It's the only light color that I had to go underneath the spiders, but I think it actually turned out cute. So these will be my nails for the next week. There you go. Halloween nails round three, <laughs> more to come. So I think they turned out pretty cute. Next topic. Survivor! Survivor is back. Did you guys watch the first episode last night? What do you think? I have mixed feelings about it. I think the cast seems good. I have good first impressions of the cast. I liked getting a little glimpse into a deeper perspective with the cast. I liked seeing kind of the flashbacks to their normal lives. I liked some of the camera work and some of the editing. The stories kind of reminded me of Olympics coverage, which I enjoyed. However, I don't know how I feel about the 26 days rather than 39 days. And I worry that with that, it's just going to feel like a sprint rather than a marathon. We lost two people right off the bat. First episode, we're losing two people. I don't know how often that's happening, but when you only have 26 days, obviously you gotta eliminate people faster than normal. So I assume, at least for this first bit, we're eliminating two people each week. I don't know how I feel about having so many more gimmicks. I do wish that they had instead gone to a back to basics season. I feel like a lot of people binged Survivor during the pandemic, got into watching Survivor in the pandemic, and old Survivor was pretty basic. There weren't all these advantages and idols and everything thrown in there. And so I think it would have been really neat to see a back to basics. And instead they went the other direction and they're like, we're gonna have 50 gimmicks in this first episode. Like how cool would it be if right off the bat they got on the boat and they're like, back to basics, no hidden immunity idols, none of that mess, you just have to survive and rely on your social game. Prevent all these people just scrambling through the jungle looking for idols without even having a hint if there's an idol out there. People just assume it's gonna be out there and how much drama do we get every single season over people hunting for idols now? All right, so Mike's still on a work call, but I am starting to make our dinner. I'm having sweet and spicy chicken stir fry with lime, green beans, and jasmine rice. Aw. There's the finished product. Chicken stir fry with green beans. 
Looks good. So hello everyone, happy Friday. I am out and about. I just went to the post office and now I'm at Target. They better have their Halloween stuff out by now. <laughs> That's all I have to say. So I have a bunch of items I need from Target and then we're gonna check out their Halloween section and hopefully it's actually full by now. So let's go check it out. Now we're talking. Please explain to me why we have to wait till October for Halloween, but Christmas can be out in September. Rude. And now I'm in this weird state. Have they already been picked over? Or have they not finished putting it out already? Now I feel like they've already been picked over. Target's making it very difficult these days to time it properly. This is Thanksgiving stuff, but still, like, you're making it tough for me, Target. What do you do? Oh, cute. Cute. Oh, we had a frog. We lost me. Yes, they already got picked over. Man. It's tough. Target's killing me lately. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Oh, they have a pumpkin one like the ghost. Cute. That's broken for sure. Rick a wheat. I kind of like the witch parking. I think this is my favorite thing I've seen though. Let me see if it's broken. <gasps> oh, that's adorable. I have to get that. Oh. That's cool. Well, that little ghost is adorable, but they're already sold out of them. They have these left. But ghost is already sold out. They have that guy. And those are kind of neat, but I already have some. I like him, but he's sold out. <laughs> oh, you would have been adorable. I already have that one. So you would have been an adorable little friend for him, but you're sold out. Okay, Target, you lost me here. What's going on? Why is there a strawberry skull? You lost me on the watermelon pumpkin. <laughs> And lemon pumpkins. Apple pumpkins? No, no, you lost me there. Well, I'm back home and here is my Target Halloween haul for 2021. I ended up getting this little witch parking sign for by the front door. I saw a similar one to this at Michael's, but I think this one was cuter and less money. So I like that. So that one's cute. I got the little TV. It's so cute. Adorable. I got this guy. Ooh. And then I got two of these from up front and the $3 section. So this one will do the same thing. I just haven't pulled the tab, but it changes colors. It's pretty cool. So Magic Potion and Witch's Brew. I wanted some more of these bottles because I have the bottles up on the display in the kitchen. So now I've got these two. I got some plates for if we have any sort of Halloween gathering with the friends. And that's it for Halloween at Target. Pretty slim pickings this year. But I did go to the post office and I had this adorable little package from Patricia. A sweet Halloween card. And look at the little pumpkin. It's a pumpkin truck. So I will have to find a little spot to hang that. It's going to look adorable, especially during the fall time because I put up fall decorations after Halloween's over so November the house is fall and that's gonna be perfect for it. We also had another shipment from Jennifer so we got the Franken Bones mug and the Jacked Lantern mug. I love this one. 
So I'm, I'm not going to lie, we are getting a little close to out of space for mugs, but these are great because since they're Halloween themed, I can just pack them with the Halloween stuff at the end of the season and free up some more space. But I love this one. So this is probably my favorite one. This one and the gingerbread one from Christmas, probably my two favorites. I love the color of that mug and of course, Halloween themed, how can you not? So we have their anniversary coffee, which I've actually been having this one advertised to me on Facebook. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, yep, it's their anniversary. So I assume it's birthday cake flavored. I don't really know, but that's what I would guess from the cover. We got the Frankenbones and the Jacked Up, which we've had these before. They're both delicious. She sent the pumpkin spice from Expedition Roasters. So love my pumpkin spice. I'm excited. It looks like Jack the Pumpkin King. Get it? And then with the mug, she sent Mike a whole slew of their standard coffees, which I know Mike's super excited for these because it's like a world tour of all the just standard coffees. So we are well stocked with our coffee supply. I'm sorry. I know coffee's not for you and that's depressing. Everything should be for the bean. Look at the tail. Not everything is about the bean. Not everything is about the bean. Is it because I said coffee bean? Whole bean? Foster bean. <laughs> so thank you, Jennifer. And thank you, Patricia. I love it. You want to show them the new addition to the house? <laughs> you want to show them what we added? So while I was gone, Mike was busy building. As you can see, Colby already a fan. Do you like your giant dog bed? <laughs> it's supposed to be a hammock for mom and dad, but okay. Did you get some grass in your mouth? So yes, we have a new hammock. I think we're gonna move it over here and clean off all our extra stuff. Move this over there, put this here. The nice thing about over here is when you're laying there, you can see the sky, but it just takes up so much space in this corner. I think it'll be better over here because then you can get in either side and you have a fan over here. So we're starting to make it. We're starting to work on it and being more of a full on outdoor lounge. But it's just so hot right now that we're barely using it and we're starting to get into fall. So now is the time to get the furniture ready for when we actually will use it. All right, Zaxby's night. I got the Buffalo Blue salad. And Mike got the wings and things, as usual, with Mos buffalo. Mosaic sauce. Yay! We can put that one in the fridge. And more ranch. Yay! Okay. Excellent. Well, I just watched the Britney Spears documentary, the part two from New York Times, controlling Britney Spears. And look at this one. You hate this new sofa, don't you? You're just never comfortable in this house. Got an outdoor bed, indoor bed, a blanket. just spoiled. You're just a spoiled boy. Oh boy. <laughs> An itchy boy apparently. Hi. Did I wake you up? I started talking. I'm not going to bed yet, boys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dad's already in bed. Dad's already asleep because Dad was up at 5 a.m. Yeah. No, mom's not going to bed yet. Mom's got to fold laundry. But soon, soon. Just wanted to show where my new additions ended up. So I put the little TV next to the TV. And this guy's over here looking amazing. I'm really happy with my new additions. They look fantastic. Okay guys, so it's late Friday night and with that I am signing off. However, an important note. I can't sign off and say I'll see you guys next week because there will not be a weekly vlog next week because this coming week is our longer trip. Jeff and Rick are coming into town. Mike's parents are going to join us for a while. So there won't be a weekly vlog next Monday. However, there will be a very special vlog coming that Monday. So stay tuned, but no weekly vlog because I'm only home for a few days at the start of next week before we go off for a longer universal trip. So stay tuned, exciting video coming Monday instead of the weekly vlog, and then I'll be back with another weekly vlog the following week. So with that, 
I'm signing off. I will see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>